Hello everyone and welcome to another Pyro Gaming video. It's a new week which means there are new vendor weapon rolls to look at. Let's get started with the Crucible and the Zero Day Dilemma Auto Rifle. Glass half full, perfect balance, armor piercing rounds, spray and play, close and or personal. Um, just doesn't have enough. I'm not a really big fan of glass half full. Spray and play isn't going to be all that exciting on this. Perfect balance is good, but one doesn't justify buying an entire weapon. Next up, the B-29 Party Favor Pulse Rifle. This one's going to come with Third Eye, Perfect Balance, Appended Magazine, Eye of the Storm, Feeding Frenzy. A couple of okay perks, nothing special. I'm going to say pass on that this week. The Hero Formula Scout Rifle comes with Firefly, Braced Frame, Explosive Rounds, Zen Moment, and Mulligan. And for our side options, we have the Range Lens, which is the Vision of Confluence site that looks so sexy. My favorite scout, or scout rifle site by far. And uh, this... Could be pretty decent. It's going to be like the uh, DIS-43, I believe, or DIS-43 or 47. I always get them mixed up, but there's one of those that has this same archetype. Uh, you're going to run Zen Moment, you're going to run Braced Frame, you're going to run Firefly, you're going to have a super stable, super, super stable scout rifle with Braced Frame and Zen Moment. Uh, this thing is going to have absolutely no recoil whatsoever. Uh, you could also run Explosive Rounds, but my problem with combining Explosive Rounds and Firefly is this makes it hard to proc this. So that's why I would run braced frame over explosive rounds and I would use this in PVE only and probably have a good time. Next up the palindrome hand cannon, hidden hand, reinforced barrel, lightweight, triple tap, spray and play. Do we have, we do not have true sight but we do have sure shot which is the next best thing. So I would run sure shot, spray and play, reinforced barrel and hidden hand and I would use this in the Crucible and probably have a pretty good time. Alternatively, if you wanted to use this in PvE, you absolutely could with Hidden Hand, Reinforced Barrel, and Triple Tap. And sticking with the Sure Shot IS site for that as well. It's a pretty good roll. Not the best one we've seen, but pretty good. Next up, the Each New Day Fusion Rifle. She comes with Eye of the Storm, Hand Light Stock, Rifled Barrel, Spray and Play, and Underdog. Eye of the Storm is... Kind of a kind of a crucible perk. It's actually not a terrible perk to have on um, fusion rifles because they get like like it says this weapon becomes more accurate as your health gets lower. So as you're shooting at an enemy in crucible and an enemy shooting back at you, uh, you're going to be taking damage. This is going to make this a little bit more uh, accurate. Hand laid stock probably my favorite uh, perk to have on fusion rifles. Some people would argue that rifled barrel is going to be better because of the increased range, but the way I look at it is hand light stock will allow more projectiles to hit your enemy, whereas this one will allow each projectile to do a little bit more damage, but less projectiles were hit. You don't have to be good at math to know that more projectiles is mostly going to mean more damage. Spray and play, never a bad thing. It's always pretty good. I wouldn't mess with underdog. I would go, uh, well, actually, underdog with uh, Eye of the Storm. I mean, that's not a bad combination. But yeah, all together, this, uh, this I would say is going to be a Crucible fusion rifle. If you are looking for a good Crucible fusion rifle, this could definitely be your Huckleberry. Next up, the 44 Curtain Call Shotgun comes with full auto, rifled barrel, flared magwell, close and or personal, and battle runner, linear compensator, CQB, and aggressive. I would go ahead and stick with linear compensator over here. I would toss on close and or personal or battle runner, depending on which method you want to use. I would go ahead and pop on rifled barrel and full auto, and I would say that this is going to be a decent shotgun for both PvE and PvP. And use it at your own discretion, but full auto on shotguns is never bad. It's pretty good. I would use it in both. If you want a workhorse void PvE shotgun, there you go. Next up, Anton's Roll Sidearm. She comes with Hot Swap, Hand Loaded, High Caliber Rounds, Outlaw, and Army of One. Hot Swap on uh, sidearms is really, really good. Hand Loaded on sidearms is really, really good. High Caliber Rounds on sidearms is really, really good. Army of One is meh. But Outlaw is also really good. So what I would do here is I would run Hot Swap, High Caliber Rounds, Outlaw. Over here, I would definitely put on Sure Shot IS, and I would use this in the Crucible, and I would probably have a good time. Let's see, next up is the Event Horizon, dealing arc damage with Hidden Hand, Quick Draw, Snapshot, Army of One, Life Support. We have the Sightsis, Short Gaze, and Taxus. I would definitely go with the Taxus Sight here, mid-zoom scope. A lot of people like to use the short-range scopes, but honestly, there's not really much of a difference. Go ahead and get the one that gives you the boost to stability that you can see here. Uh, Army of One is not all that much of a, or all that great of a sniper perk, neither is life support, 
But Quick Draw, Snapshot, and Hidden Hand are three really good sniper perks for the Crucible. So pick it up if you want it, pass on it if you don't. I will personally pass because I have better Event Horizons. Next up, the Chaotic Neutral Machine Gun. Persistence, Perfect Balance, Armor Piercing Rounds, Life Support, Underdog. Not terrible. Uh, persistence, I don't like using Persistence because it uh, requires you to just basically hold down the trigger. And with a 31 round magazine, it's, it's not all that great. It's not a, that good of a perk to have. Perfect Balance, though, is really good. Armor Piercing Rounds is really good. Life Support's really good. Underdog's really good. Everything else is great about this. I'm just not crazy about Persistence, but this could be an okay option in the Crucible. Next up, the Something Wicked Rocket Launcher, my personal favorite archetype, and she comes with Tracking, Quick Draw, Field Scout, Grenadier, Last Resort, Aggressive Launch, Soft Launch, and Counter Mass. You're going to want to stick with Aggressive here. Everything else lowers your Blast Radius. You're going to want to run... Either one of these, neither one of them are really good perks to have on this, so it doesn't really matter. But here you definitely want Field Scout, and you definitely want Tracking, and this is going to be a PvE Rocket Launcher, and it's going to be pretty good. This is actually my favorite Legendary Rocket Launcher in the game because it comes with stock, max blast radius, and pretty damn good velocity. I love this thing. I have uh, one for each elemental damage. But that does it for Crucible. Let's move on to the next vendor, shall we? Alright, taking a look at New Monarchy, we will start with the Assembly 2 Auto Rifle that comes with Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, Hot Swap, High Caliber Rounds, and Snapshot. Over here we have Reflex, Quick Draw, and OEG. Uh, I would probably go with the OEG, uh, just because none of these give you a stability boost. OEG at least gives you a little bit of range. I would combine it with High Caliber Rounds, Perfect Balance, and Hidden Hand, and I would have a pretty hard-hitting Auto Rifle that is just an absolute bullet hose that's going to stagger a lot of enemies in the Crucible. This is a really good Crucible roll this week. I would definitely recommend picking it up if you are a fan of that archetype auto rifle. Next up, we have the Free Will 3 Hand Cannon. It comes with Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, Triple Tap, Explosive Round, Snapshot, True Sight IS, and all the other stuff. So I'm not really big on this archetype, but... True Sight, Explosive Rounds, Perfect Balance, and Hidden Hand is a pretty good combination. Alternatively, you can use Triple Tap, although if you combine that with Explosive Rounds, it's going to make it a little bit more difficult to proc. So because of that, I would stick with Explosive, Perfect, and Hidden Hand, and it's going to be okay in PvE and PvP. Next up for New Monarchy, we have the M Preacher 5 Sidearm. Rangefinder, Hand Loaded, Relentless Tracker, High Caliber Rounds, Snapshot, Steady Hand, Sure Shot, and Quick Draw. We have Sure Shot IS, High Caliber Rounds, Hand Loaded is going to be what you're going to want to use here, and you're going to want to combine that with Rangefinder, and what you're going to have is a sidearm that's relatively stable uh, because of its base stability, but more importantly, it's going to have really good range, and it's going to stagger enemies in the Crucible, and this will be a solid PvP sidearm for this week. Next up, we have the Bad Council Shotgun, Full Auto, Small Bore, Close and or Personal, Extended Mag, Snapshot, Smooth Ballistics, Field Choke, and Aggressive Ballistics. So I'm going to run Field Choke here. I'm going to go ahead and pop on Extended Magazine. Um, extended Magazine, I'm going to put Close and or Personal just so I don't or lose any of my magazine size. And then I'm going to combine it with Full Auto. I'm going to have a pretty decent... Uh, PVE shotgun. Now, some of you may be tempted to use small bore here because of the boost to range and stability, but with the way that shotguns work in PVE at the moment, you really want to get right up on an enemy, stick that barrel into their chest, and pull the trigger, so range isn't really that big of a deal for PVE. Close and or personal is going to be the better option of the two because you're going to have a six round magazine with extended mag and you're going to have full auto and this is going to be pretty solid for pve not for crucible don't pick it up for crucible next up the deposition seven sniper rifle hidden hand hammer forge triple tap explosive round snapshot sitesis ambush and taxis i'm going to go with taxis here or no, i'm sorry ambush here for the boost to stability uh, stability is always going to be what you want to use on snipers over range because they already have really good range Combine that with Snapshot, Hammer Forged, and Hidden Hand. Or if you wanted, you can run Triple Tap here instead of Hammer Forged. And I would use this in the Crucible. I would not use this in PvE. It would be okay, not great. Next up, the First Citizen Machine Gun, Bullet Hose Archetype, designed to clear out ads. It has Hidden Hand, Hammer Forged, Feeding Frenzy, High Caliber Rounds, and Quick Draw. 
So I'm going to combine Hidden Hand with Feeding Frenzy, kills with this weapon, increase reload speed, and I'm going to put on high caliber rounds over here. I will probably go with Linear Compensator, even though we do lose a little bit of impact, but what it gives us to range and stability is going to be very beneficial, and I would pick this up if I needed an Arc Heavy Machine Gun to mow down ads, and that is it in PvE. PvE, and that does it for New Monarchy. Let's move on to our next vendor. So taking a look at Dead Orbit, starting with the Extremophile Auto Rifle, it comes with Hidden Hand, Perfect Balance, Spray and Play, High Caliber Rounds, Quick Draw, MD Reflex, Quick Draw IS, and the OEG Rifle Scope. I would personally use the OEG Rifle Scope, although a lot of people don't use it because it has a little bit too much zoom for them. But either one of these are going to be fine, MD and OEG. I wouldn't mess with this one all that much. Uh, high caliber rounds, perfect balance, hidden hand. This is going to be a really good auto rifle in the Crucible. I would definitely pick it up if you are a fan of that archetype. Next up, the Keystone Scout Rifle with crowd control, small bore, unflinching, explosive round, snapshot, MD reflex, focus lens, and OEG. I would go ahead and stick with the MD reflex or pop on the OEG. Uh, this one... It's also going to be good, but this is going to be more the uh, long zooming scope, similar to the Vision of Confluence site that looks so sexy, but not quite as good. I would run explosive rounds, I would run small bore, and I would run crowd control. You're going to have a 12 round magazine, but those 12 rounds are going to hit very hard, and I would use this in the Crucible, or not the Crucible, I'm sorry, PVE. I would use this in PVE, definitely not the Crucible. Next up, the Worlds to Come 001. Fusion Rifle, Rangefinder, Small Bore, Spray and Play, Enhanced Battery, Snapshot, MD Reflex, Red Dot, blah, 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 blah. Muzzle options don't change anything over here, so we're going to go with Enhanced Battery. Uh, we're going to go with Small Bore. Enhanced Battery is going to knock this up to 6. Small Bore is going to knock it right back down to 5. And then Rangefinder is going to give it more range. Combined with this, you're going to have a pretty good, uh, pretty good Fusion Rifle all around. Crucible and PvE. So I would definitely pick this one up if you need a solar fusion rifle that hits relatively hard. Next up, Last Ditch 001 Shotgun. Comes with full auto. Apparently that's the thing for shotguns this week. Perfect balance, knee pads, hand-loaded, lightweight, muzzle options. Um, I'll probably stick with smooth ballistics here. Hand-loaded is what you're going to want to pick on this one along with... Perfect balance or knee pads, uh, either one. I would say knee pads for Crucible so you can slide around, get up closer to people. And perfect balance for PvE because with full auto, you are going to want a little bit of stability. But uh, it's an okay shotgun, definitely nothing special. Uh, if you have any better shotguns, I would say pass on this one this week. Next up, the Bitter Edge Sniper Rifle Trash Archetype. Unflinching, Hammer Forged, Mulligan, High Caliber Rounds, Lightweight. Uh, just don't mess with it, man. Don't mess with it. It defeats the purpose of a sniper rifle, honestly. It's like a scout rifle that hits just a little bit harder. It completely defeats the purpose of a sniper. Unto Dust, Grenades and Horseshoes, Heavy Payload, Spray and Play, Flared Magwell, Quick Draw, Aggressive Launch, Linear Compensator, Hard Launch. So even though we lose a little bit to Blast Radius, I would go ahead and run Hard Launch here for the increased velocity. I would go ahead and put on either Quick Draw or Flared Magwell, doesn't really matter. Heavy Payload is going to give us that Blast Radius right back, and then Grenades and Horseshoes is going to be our Crucible perk, and that's the only place that I would use this. But it's it's not great, guys. If you have a better option, don't pick this one up. And that does it for Dead Orbit. Let's move on to Future War Cult and see what they have for us this week. Taking a look at Future War Cult's weapons, starting with the Whale Hand Cannon, we have Luck in the Chamber, Small Bore, Third Eye, Explosive Rounds, Lightweight, Steady Hand, Fast Draw, and Quick Draw. Uh, explosive Rounds is pretty fun. Small Bore's not going to be good on this because it's going to drop you down to a 6-round magazine. Luck in the Chamber's good, but it just doesn't mesh with all the rest of this. And for that reason, I'm going to say pass on the whale this week. Next up, the Waltz Pulse Rifle. Comes with Rodeo, Hammer Forged, Feeding Frenzy, High Caliber Rounds, and Lightweight. Uh, we have some decent side options here. I would say go ahead and pop on the OEG Rifle Scope to get that little bit of boost to range. Definitely want to run high caliber rounds, definitely want to run hammer forged, and you definitely want to run rodeo, even though you don't have an option over here. And this is going to be a fairly stable and uh, fairly long range uh, crucible pulse rifle that also has the ability to stagger enemies. This is not a bad roll at all, guys. I would pick this one up if you're a fan of this archetype for crucible for sure. Next up, the Waiting Fusion Rifle comes with Eye of the Storm, Hammer Forge, Knee Pads, Accelerated Coils, Lightweight, 
Doesn't have any, doesn't have enough for me. I'm going to say pass on that one. Next up, the Wounded Scout Rifle, Crowd Control, Perfect Balance, Triple Tap, High Caliber Rounds, and Lightweight. And we also have the Focus Lens Sight, which is a really clean, really nice sight. And we also have the OEG Sight. I'm going to go with Focus Lens here because it's the only sight option that gives us any kind of boost to stats. It gives us a little bit more range. High Caliber Rounds is going to be a good option here. And here you can use Perfect Balance or Triple Tap, either one. And crowd control is also going to be a really good perk to have on this. And uh, you're going to have yourself a solid workhorse PVE scout rifle. I would definitely recommend picking that one up if you are a fan of scouts. Next up, the Wormwood Sidearm. It's going to be hidden hand, fitted stock, relentless tracker, high caliber rounds. And we also have True Sight IS. So stick with this one right here. Run high caliber rounds. Uh, this one's going to be whichever one you prefer. I would go, I would say go ahead and use fitted stock just for that little bitty boost to stability. But this one could also be pretty good in crucible as well. Hidden hand's never bad, and you're going to have a workhorse crucible sidearm. It's not bad at all. I would definitely pick it up if you're one of those sidearm spammers in the crucible. Next up, the Warpath Rocket Launcher, Grenades and Horseshoes, Heavy Payload, Third Eye, Flared Magwell, Quick Draw. A couple of good perks, not enough to justify buying it, and that is going to do it for Future War Cult. Let's move on to our last vendor. The Vanguard Quartermaster, starting with the Continental Auto Rifle that comes with Counterbalance, Small Bore, Appended Magazine, Rodeo, and Danger Close. A couple of okay side options here, but nothing for stability, unfortunately, so I'm going to go ahead and go with the OEG Rifle Scope to get that little boost to range. I would say go ahead and pop on Rodeo, pop on Small Bore, or Appended Magazine. Either one of these are going to be okay. And counterbalance as well, and you're going to have an okay, not great, auto rifle for the Crucible. Next up, the Parthian Shot Pulse Rifle, Third Eye, Small Bore, Feather Mag, Secret Round, Life Support. Not enough. I'm going to say pass on it. A couple of good perks don't justify. Next up, the Angel's Advocate Scout Rifle that comes with Reactive Reload, Perfect Balance, Hammer Forged, Outlaw, and Who's Next? This is a... This is an interesting roll with Outlaw and Perfect Balance. It's going to be a really fast reloading and pretty decent uh, stability. But uh, reactive reload on this is okay, but you're going to be reloading quite a bit with this thing. Uh, we've seen better rolls than this. There was a Perfect Fatebringer roll, so I would say that uh, you should probably have that Perfect Fatebringer roll if you're a fan of this archetype. And for that reason, you should pass on this one because you don't need it. You have a better one. Next up, How Dare You Hand Cannon, Hidden Hand, Small Bore, Explosive Rounds, Mulligan, Last Resort. Um, not terrible. Hidden Hand and Small Bore are both going to be really good. Mulligan's not bad. And uh, we also have the True Sight. So if you're a fan of this archetype in the Crucible, I would say pick it up. Otherwise, pass on it. Next up, X Asterisk Fusion Rifle. Comes with Hot Swap, Braced Frame, Snapshot, Unflinching, and Icarus. Uh, so this is actually going to be a fairly good... Uh, Crucible Fusion Rifle. You're going to want to run Icarus here. You're going to run, run, want to run Braced Frame, even though it drops your magazine down to three. And you're going to want to run Hot Swap. And you're going to want to play this with Hot Swap in mind. Keep your primary out, switch to your special, and fire this immediately. Play this like Plan C, and this will be a very good Crucible Fusion Rifle. Next up, the Teacup Tempest Sidearm. Comes with Hot Swap, Fitted Stock, Lightweight, Zen Moment, Feeding Frenzy. We've seen better options this week. Um, go get a different one other than this. We've seen better ones than that. Next up, the Occam's Razor Shotgun. Comes with Crowd Control, Reinforced Barrel, Lightweight, Performance Bonus, Knee Pads, Smart Drift, Accurized, and Soft Ballistics. I would go ahead and run Accurized Ballistics for the boost to range and impact. Uh, performance Bonus is a great Crucible perk. It gives you basically free special every now and then. Reinforced Barrel is a really good shotgun perk, and Crowd Control is a really good shotgun perk. So, uh, not a bad option for the Crucible here this week. Next up, the 7th Sense Sniper Rifle Trash Archetype, Hidden Hand, Quick Draw, Casket Mag, Grenadier, Mulligan, don't mess with it guys, defeats the purpose of a sniper. Next up, the Bone Crusher Machine Gun Crowd Control, Hand Laid Stock, Rifled Barrel, Feeding Frenzy, Spray and Play, Aggressive, Linear, and Field Choke. So stick with aggressive ballistics here, spray and play, feeding frenzy, either one of these is going to be okay, they're both uh, reload bonuses. Uh, I would definitely run hand laid stock here because look how much stability you get 
with and without it. Range isn't going to be that big of a deal. And pop on crowd control, even though this only has a 25 round magazine, because it hits so hard you will be able to get a few kills with crowd control active in the Crucible, and that is exactly where I would use this, in the Crucible. And it's going to be a pretty decent option. Next up, the Disassembly Required Shotgun. Comes with tracking, quick draw, heavy payload, spray and play, and danger close. So tracking is really good, heavy payload's really good. Spray and play is meh, it's okay for PvE. We also have aggressive launch, soft launch, and counter mass. I'm going to go ahead and stick with aggressive launch here. And I would say that this is going to be a pretty decent option for PvE. Definitely not a crucible rocket launcher, but if you need a workhorse solar rocket launcher, there you go. And that is going to bring this video to an end, guys. If you enjoyed it, click like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, I fucking love you. Thank you for watching. Take care, dudes. Thank you.